guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to call REST services from Postman. So far, what we have done is we have called SOAP services using Postman. And if you remember the first step, then what we did in the SOAP services was we needed a session ID. And the way we retrieved the session ID was the first time you have to send your username password. And then in return, it will give you the server URL and it will also give you the session ID. And then you have to use this session ID in the upcoming request that you are going to make. Correct? So same thing we are going to do in the case of REST services as well. So first step would be you have to create a connected app inside of Salesforce. Now, when you create a connected app inside Salesforce, it will give you two things, the client ID and the consumer secret key. Now, this client ID and the consumer secret key, we will use these values to authenticate. So first step is to create a connected app inside of Salesforce. And why do we need it? I will tell you in a minute. Now, the next thing is we need to make the request from the postman. And in that request, we are going to send four things. We are going to send username. Then we are going to send password. And then we are also going to send the client ID and then the consumer secret key. So four things we are going to send. And in return, when we make this request, we are going to get an access token. And this access token will be used to make upcoming request to Salesforce. So in order to get this access token, we have to make a call to authenticate ourselves. And for that call, we need the client ID and the consumer secret key. And how do we get these value? After we create a connected app, we will get these two values. So let's go ahead and talk about this process in little more detail. So first thing is creating a connected app. What is the purpose of this cre uh, connected app? Now the connected app is a framework which will enable an external application to integrate with Salesforce, either using APIs or standard protocols like OAuth, SAML, and OpenID. So this is the way that Salesforce can connect with external applications. So you have to make a connected app inside of Salesforce. It is very simple. When you are trying to create a new app, you get two options. One is to create a lightning app and the next button is a connected app. So this is how you're going to create a connected app. And once the connected app is created, you're going to get two things. One is the client ID. As I mentioned, you will retrieve the client ID. And then the second thing you will get is the consumer secret key. And these two information will be needed for our OAuth authentication purposes. So once we have this information, the next thing is we need to go back to our postman and we need to make that request. So the request would be to this URL services OAuth slash token. So this is the request URL that we will be using and we're going to make this request. And to this URL, as you can see in this picture, we will be passing in these four things. Grant type is equals to password. This is what we, this is a static content. Then we will be passing in the client ID. Then we are going to pass the secret, the username, and then the password. So these things would be passed for the authentication purpose. Now, when we authenticate ourselves, we are going to, when we send this request, we are going to get the access token and the token type is bearer. So we have to use this access token whenever we are going to make any further calls to Salesforce from Postman. So this is to give you an overview of how we will authenticate ourselves from Postman and then how can we call our REST services from Postman. In the next tutorial, we will go deeper into, do, into it and we will learn with the help of examples, how to make this call. So I'll see you then. Thank you.